안녕하십니까? 온라인 서절의 김경원입니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. Kim Gyeong-won of Online Surgery. Today I'm going to share with you a surgical clip. Let's look at today's case. The patient is 61-year-old male patient and in the upper anterior area, you can see significant long span bridge. The patient's chief complaint was that it was uncomfortable and wanted it to be replaced with implants. If you look at patient history, the CC chief complaint is fall order and discomfort on the upper and lower anterior PFM bridge. And if you look at overall history, about 34 years ago, because of car accident, the upper and lower anteriors were damaged and PFM bridge was provided. It was replaced about two or three times. And before the patient came to our hospital, the patient was recommended implant treatment for the upper anterior from a private clinic and because it was uncomfortable, the patient wanted the bridge to be replaced with implants. The plan was to place implants in the lateral and sidal area on both sides and to provide a bridge. As for number 345 on both sides, zirconia bridge was planned. If you look at patient's medical history, the patient had diabetes and hypertension, but it was under control. About 10 years ago, the patient had surgery for thyroid cancer. The patient was taking antithrombotic agent, but there were no major problems, so there was no drug holiday and a surgery was performed. If you look at the CT about 30 years ago, there was trauma. However, if you look at number 12, the alveolar bone is comparatively favorable. There is less resorption. In number 22, it's comparatively favorable as well. The bone quality itself does not look to be excellent. When we were planning, the plan was to place 4.0 diameter implants along with bone grafting on lateral incisor on both sides, but the patient did not want bone grafts. Because alveolar bone condition was favorable, 3.5 by 10 millimeter implants were planned. TS3BA 3.5 by 10 millimeter implants were planned for both sides in the lateral incisal area. The plan was to place two implants. With a long span bridge, a scanning was performed and on the computer, bridge was cut in the anterior zone and one kite was fabricated. Although there was long span bridge, the guide template fit quite nicely. This is immediate post-op image. The bone quality was not excellent and primary stability was not excellent either. So temporary was provided in a flipper type and cover screws were provided and surgery was complete. If you look at number 12, the implant has been placed as planned. In number 22, implant has been placed as planned as well. Stability was more lacking in number 22. About 3.5 months later, secondary surgery was performed, and at the time of a secondary surgery, if you look at CT, the alveolar bone height was nicely maintained. ISQ was 7474. Number 22, the ISQ values were favorable, and final prosthesis were delivered. ER type prosthesis were delivered. The patient was satisfied. In the lower anterior area, bridge was refabricated as shown. The patient was quite satisfied. I think it would have been better if bone graft had been done and it would have allowed for a thicker diameter implant to be placed. But you can see that it, although there was long span bridge, one guide fit quite nicely after scanning and implants were placed as planned. Let's look at the surgical clip. After requesting one guide template fabrication, bridge was cut. Except for the cut surface, you can see that the template fits quite nicely. Template was adapted and holding it, the tissue punch was used to remove overriding mucosa. Tissue punch was used to remove overriding mucosa in number 12 and 22. 
There is no stopper with tissue punch, so it was removed. The thoroughly template was removed, and I checked whether overriding mucosa was sufficiently removed. The template was adapted once again, and flattening drill was used. The alveolar bone was flattened, and drilling was done. So, drilling was done with a flattening drill up until the stopper, so you can see that the alveolar bone on top was removed in order to place the implant deep. You can see that flattening drill has been used in number 22 as well fully. After the use of flattening drill, because it was comparatively healed ridge, 3.5 diameter soft initial drill was used. The ridge is healed ridge, so there was no need to use path drill to prevent the slipping. 3.5 soft initial drill was used. The bone quality was not excellent. Two point two by ten millimeter one guide twist drill was used for final drilling. Two point two by ten millimeter one guide twist drill was used for final drilling. Full length drilling was done, and in number twenty two. In the same way, you can see that the bone quality did not look good, even with tactile sense. 2.1 was used for final drilling, and TS3BA 3.5 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. It was irrigated sufficiently, and it was positioned. You can see that the implant is going in where we have done drilling. Implant was placed 80% using engine and implant driver was used to get the final position. Hex matching was done as well. Primary stability was about 10 to 20 newtons. I think it was about 20 newtons. Number 12 was more favorable. In number 22, TS3BA 3.5 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. Implant was placed 80% using engine and saline was applied. No mount was removed and implant driver was used for implant placement. Primary stability was about 20 newton centimeters. Depth was adjusted. Template was removed in order to measure ISQ value. Smart pegs were connected. It was connected in number 22 first. In number 22, it's about, about 60 and 75. So it's a slightly lacking. As for number 12, it's a 75, 75. It's quite favorable. We could not provide bridge immediately, so cover screw was used and healing was done before performing secondary surgery. Tissue punch was done, but the cover screw was connected and a figure of eight suture was done. That's how the surgery was completed. If there's a template, when you do second surgery, you can use the template and by punching out that area using tissue punch, a second surgery can be performed easily. Figure of eight suture was done to complete the case. In this case, in the upper anterior area, although there was long span PFM bridge, scanning was performed and one guide was fabricated. Realistically speaking, there was no deviation and in the planned position, implants were placed. Thank you for watching.